Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest release from the Ubuntu family, version 22.04, codename Jamma Jellyfish. Let's not waste any time. We're heading straight to the official Ubuntu website to snag our copy of Ubuntu 22.04, the Jamma Jellyfish. Check out the link in the description below for easy access. Go ahead and click on that download button. Now, if you're as quick as I was, you might already have this file on your system. In that case, feel free to cancel the download like I'm doing right now. Now, let's set up our VMware configuration. Open the VMware Workstation application and click on Create a new virtual machine. Keep it simple by choosing the typical configuration type and hit Next. Select I will install the operating system later and proceed by clicking Next. Now, choose Linux as your guest operating system and Ubuntu as the version. Click Next to continue. Give your virtual machine a name and hit Next. While the recommended disk size is 25 GB, let's go a bit more spacious with 50 GB. Ensure you choose Store Virtual Disk as a multiple file for simplicity and click Next. Now, it's time to fine tune some settings. Click on Customize Hardware and navigate to the new CD slash DVD option. Choose ISO image file and browse to the location of the downloaded ISO file. After that, head to the Network Adapter option, and under Network Connection, select Bridge Connection to directly link to the physical network. Once done, click Close and then Finish. Now, Let's kick off the installation process for Ubuntu 22.04. With everything set up smoothly, let's power on the virtual machine. When prompted, choose Try or Install Ubuntu and hit Enter. Click on Install Ubuntu to begin the installation wizard. Select your preferred keyboard layout and hit Continue. In the Updates and Other Software section, I'll stick with the default selections and also choose the last option in the Other Options section. And hit Continue. Moving on, opt for Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu, then click on Install Now. A pop-up will appear asking, write the changes to disks. Go ahead and click Continue. Now, let's pinpoint your location by selecting Where Are You. Choose your location and click Continue. In the Who Are You section, enter your name, create a robust password, confirm it, and click Continue. Now, buckle up for the installation process. It typically takes around 20 to 25 minutes, though the exact duration can vary based on your system specifications. So, grab a cup of coffee and let Ubuntu work its magic.
Now, let's navigate to the top, click on VM, and then select Settings. Click on the Add button, choose CD slash DVD drive, and click Finish. Next, select the Use ISO Image File option, browse to the VMware Workstation Installation Directory, and choose the Linux.iso file. Click OK to confirm. Let's wrap up the software update by clicking on the Install Now button. Authenticate with your password. Now, you might see an option to skip this step, go ahead and click Skip. Hit next. Choose your preferences. Hit next. And then done. While the software update is still in progress, Click on Restart Later for now. We need to install VMware tools. Click on the CD icon, copy the tar.gz zip file to the downloads directory. Now, right click on the zip file and click on Extract here. Open the extracted folder and go inside VMware Tools Distrib folder. Right click inside this directory and click on Open in Terminal and type the command sudo dot slash vmware install dot pl you can find this command in the comment section below enter your password for authentication oops i mistakenly entered the wrong password let's give it another shot let's keep it simple just hit enter to breeze through the installation process. No need for complicated steps, the system will take care of the rest. With the installation completed, it's time to give our system a fresh start. Let's go ahead and hit that restart button. And there you have it. Ubuntu 22.04, the Jamma Jellyfish, is now up and running on your system. Thanks for watching and happy coding.